And we're live. Hey, everyone. Let me find myself here. There I am. Thank you all for joining me. Today we're going to do a fall project. Well, a couple of them. I'm just going to put together some pumpkins in two sizes because it comes in two sizes. So I want to show you the difference. You actually get to, there's two images that look exactly the same in design space. So I want to show you a little bit of how they're different and we're going to put them both together. And we're going to put the apple basket together with faux leather. I'm going to do that one first because I'm using pearl paper and faux leather with that one. And I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like. I changed it up just a little bit. And let me take you to Design Space to show you the pictures of them. And thank you all that are here live in chat. Um, we were all chatting ahead of time. Everyone is so excited. They're all getting their mystery box in. They're getting their easy press. And they're all having fun chatting before the video started. Um, so if you have questions, Put them in all caps if you're watching live. Hey, Glenda. Hey, Bobby. And Sheila and Teresa and Tracy and Catherine and Sandy and Janice and Timberhill. You have and Jody who had to go to an Oktoberfest. She'll watch later. Um, but she stopped in just to chat for a few minutes. Uh, and thank you, Jamie. Jamie is here to help moderate. Uh, she does answer questions when you have questions in the chat. She helps answer them. So if you have specific questions, put them in all caps. Um, and first, we have to do this. Sorry, Sheila. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're going to have a great crafting time. Here we go. We're in design space. Hey, Michael. So I can't sit and read the chat all day or that would be really boring. So um, I can't say hi to everybody. So this is my pumpkin. I have this down to 25%. So each little square here you see is an inch. Um, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing today. So I can just click on any of these over here in the layers panel. And then this says, see more information. So I'm going to click the little arrow. And then this is the 3D pumpkin box. It gives you the number, it's hashtag, and then a letter, and then a number. If you search that in Design Space, it'll bring it up. Or if you just click on this, it'll bring up just that image. But I want to show you the whole cartridge. This cartridge is not available for everybody. It's exclusive to Cricut Access. If you have Cricut Access and Cricut or Cricut Access Premium, you get this free. If you don't have those, you can't buy them. You, you can't use these. So that is one of the features of Access is you get 10% off everything you buy at Cricut. And you get some exclusives. And this is one. And I'm like, oh. so many people ask how to put together 3D projects. So if you don't have Access and you still watch this video, you're going to learn. So... Come and chat and watch and learn with us, even if you don't have access to get this. And if you have the free trial of access, you have this. You can get it. So cut them all out now, and then you can always put them together later when you have time. So together today, we have both of these pumpkins, and then we have this apple basket. And they also have this apple, and I assume the apple is probably just like the smaller pumpkin except for it may have different cuts in it. And Bobby Fort said in, um, on Facebook, he commented, and he said the pumpkin could also be an acorn. I think the apple could probably also be an acorn because I think it's about the same thing. So if you did the top in another color and the bottom and like a brown and the top and tan or whatever acorn color is, you could have an acorn like that too. And then you can make these to fit inside the basket how cute is that? Isn't that cute? And I know a lot of people are intimidated by 3D projects, but these are so easy. Um, I did see someone commented that they're going to make the hat and make it into a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. And these leaves are beautiful. And the corn, I did not get the corn cut out. But the corn, my idea to do with the corn is to use green 
I don't know why. I just want to do green of these leaves, you know, and use the pearl paper. Or you could use the white pearl paper too because it's kind of off-white. That would be pretty there too. And look at the pie, the pumpkin pie. You can put like, I'm not sure if it would take eight or nine of these together and make a whole pie. And then it opens up. All of these open up and you can put things inside them. The pumpkins and the apple open up in the pie. Okay, hi Lynn. Okay, so let's, where's my mouse? Okay, uh, let's go back. And I also wanna show you something else. So here is, this is the basket. And they had these on two different mats. They had all of this over here to the right. And I know it's kind of hard to see the images here, but they had all of this over on the right onto another mat. So this one's completely empty because I moved them for you. Am I talking too fast? I feel like I'm like just talking so fast. Um, the black is all on one, but I did change these. I think these were like well, maybe I didn't. I don't remember. But I like try to change things so I use, I have the most scrap paper. So I use less paper. Now this one, this one, it was on, I think, four 12 by 12 mats, this brown color. But I changed it to 12 by 24. And when you click on it, that's where you can change it right here on the 12 by 24. And I got it all onto one mat. So instead of using four 12 by 12 pieces of paper, I used one 12 by 24 paper. And with this entire collection, except for the leather and the pearl paper and the green for the pumpkin, I used the Southwest Cricut bundle. It's the Cricut paper 12 by 24. It's called Southwest for all of these colors. So, what I did is I, I squeezed these in. I had to turn one the other way. You can turn them so they fit closer together. And you can move them to another mat. So when I click on it to move it to another mat, um, it won't give me the option to put it back where it was, so I have to click the X. You can just tell it where you want it to go. So I only used one piece of paper. And the 12 by 24 paper is much cheaper than the 12 by 12 paper. So if you don't need 12 by 24, you can cut it in half. But it saves so much paper to do it this way. Let me show you this one. I didn't do this one ahead of time just because I wanted to show you. So this orange, this is for two pumpkins, is on nine mats. I got it down to, I think, three. Like, I'm just going to show you a little bit. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. So here I put it on 12 by 24. Well, look at all the wasted paper. So I click on this. I turn it. Not that far. And then I can move this up. And I know somebody said recently, I didn't know you could move the mats. I know I got all, I think I got this all on three mats. So like I took this one, click the three dots, move to another mat. And then I'm going to put it on this mat. And we're going to move it down there. And then... Uh, so I see Courtney's questions. How do you move things to different mats? That's what I'm showing you now, but there is a delay. So she probably asked that before I actually did it. Um, let me click on this one. So I'm just clicking on the image and then it comes up, move to another mat or hide selected. So I can hide it or I just click on move to another mat. And I wonder if those would fit up here. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put it here for now. So I'm choosing the mat I want to put it on. And then I click confirm. So then it shows up here. And it can't just sit there. It's on top of another one. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and move it up here. So you just drag it up to the top. So I just go and do that again. It does take a little time. You can also do this a different way so it saves it. Let me show you how you can kind of do it a different way too. Let's put that up there. Let's move this one up here. Um, and then I can move, I think I, I moved all of these onto these three mats. It did work and sometimes it takes time to do it. Another way, because once I cancel this, it will not come back. But let me see, I did, I did the same things with the other color too down here. So I'm gonna cancel. If that's not something you wanna do, you want it to keep it, you can add a shape in, change that shape, click on it and then unlock the lock. I want the width to be 11.5. Actually, I do 4.5. 11.45 by 23.45. And then I move all of these things. Uh, well, let me put this behind. Arrange back. I move all these things within that area. Well, that's a different color. Only the same color objects. This one we're gonna have to flip up so we can fit more on there. See how I make the cuts go in between each other like that? That saves a lot of room. Okay, so let's pretend we filled up this whole black piece. We're gonna move the black piece out of the way. We're going to select everything that was on there and then click attach. And then when we go and click make it, everything will be just as we want it. Hi, Joan. Okay, I'm gonna go back real fast and check the questions. Congrats, Julie. I don't know why I'm saying congrats for though. I just saw someone say congrats. Okay. Oh, Ju Julie, she got her maker today. Yay. And Elizabeth is getting her easy press tomorrow. Yay. And everything I'm cutting here, I cut on my maker, but you can also cut it on the Explore one, the Explore, the Explore Air, Explore Air 2. Uh, Tracy, yeah, the ability to move things around was part of the newest update on Cricut to the Cricut 3. Point, or Design Space 3.0. And Michelle, I see your question, how do you make it to save on the mats? To do it that way, you have to do it on the canvas this way, how I just showed you, like with these. But fill the mat up as much as you can. Yay, Viola, her maker came yesterday. Okay, so are we ready to um, put the stuff together? No, nope, I just use the regular blade on the faux leather. Okay, first, I want to get this out of the way. And if you have any questions, put them in caps while we're doing the shout outs. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Marjorie, Charlotte, Audrey, Diane, Stacy, Teresa, Carol, Donna, Betty, Kathy, Gloria, Deborah, Kim, Carol, Cajun, Donna, Beth, Mariette, Sonia, Bobby Fort, Joyce, Connie, Jody, Ashley, Tanya, Susan, Melissa, Bonita, Colleen, Jane, Mouse Baby, Sean, Elaine, Kathy, Angelica, Sherry, Heidi, Jeannie, and Angelina. Thanks, guys. Uh, 
Um, I think UPS is here. With my Anna Griffin cartridge. Um, okay, let's start this. I move things out of my way. Okay, so first we're doing the basket. And I did a test on here just because I wasn't positive. I'm using the May May Made It um, Art Glitter Glue. And I glued this leather onto here. Now, I contoured out this normally has a cut on it to make it look like wood and then this piece is supposed to be behind it like they had this as a darker piece so that's the way they came but i contoured out the piece like this the front piece so it would have a wood look because i'm using the wood faux leather so actually what i did is i only did one these are all the same i have a bunch of these they're all the same so I deleted them all except for one. I had to detach the score line to it and then contour it out and then attach the score line back and then I duplicated it as many times as I needed these. So that made it really easy. And then this is the piece that's supposed to be behind it where the cutout is to make it look like a shadow and I think it had darker in there or something. I'm like, no, I'm just going to, because the leather is more flimsy than the paper. So I'm like, I'm going to glue that on top so it looks like wood. So this is the Cricut Faux Leather. This is the one that has the wood grain. And some people said they were going to use the one from the mystery box. You could totally do that. You can have any color basket you want. Okay, this one for some reason doesn't have a score line. I messed up on one of these. Like it took the score line off. So I'm gonna put it on top of this one. Can you guys see okay? Like I don't have any lights on and I feel like I need lights on but it's so bright on the computer. I didn't want it too bright. So I'm gonna fold this right on here. Sheila, I see your big question of what? I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, the Anna Griffin cartridge that was Anna Griffin Ornaments, I think. It was on HSN. Glenda, I did share this file with everybody on um, Patreon, but it's in access only. Let me see... Let me see if I can share it here for you guys live. That's for the pumpkins. And then let me cancel this off the mat. The pumpkins I didn't change at all. Okay, so first thing, and I know Kiona is watching and she's she cut these things ahead of time and I did share it with my Patreons ahead of time in the Facebook group yesterday and then a few hours ago today uh, that they could follow along and cut it or do it and follow, cut it up first and follow along. So first, you just fold these on the score line and it's just a teeny bit at the bottom. So I'm gonna do this while I'm reading your comments. Hi, Georgia. And I saw where two people asked what, not in this video, but they asked what, what font comes with the Anna Griffin. And it's the Elfie font. Are you kidding? 
Yes, has been delivered. Okay, so we got all these bent. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these on ahead of time. So make sure you have the small piece, small side, because these are just simple pieces. They're bigger here and then go down smaller and then you just fold it right there. So I'm going to glue all these on and I'm just going to put glue. Actually, I don't need the glue to be that fine for this. So I'm going to take that tip off. And just make sure it's pretty straight. It doesn't have to be perfect at the top because the top is going to be covered up by these pieces. Okay. Thank you, Lynn, for liking my nails. But I didn't want to do a lot of this ahead of time because I want you to be able to follow along. Now, some of you, you can, if you want to make this, you can follow along later. You can rewatch it and follow along. And it's really pretty simple once you see how to do it. Yeah, I'm sure you could use leather glue. Yep, and you could use a Xyron too. not so perfect. And it has been so hot here in the villages, guys. I like every day, I'm like, I want to just go for a ride. Everyone tells me how they love my live videos on the golf cart. But it's the feel like is like over a hundred. Alexa? What's the temperature? In the villages, it's 91 degrees with partly sunny skies. Tonight, you can look for just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 72 degrees. And then she'll tell me in a minute on the screen the feel like temperature. supposed to go to Disney World Friday. The real field is 99 degrees now. It was 100 earlier. And we say this heat and humidity is not letting up for a while. but I still might go for a ride tonight. It's not so bad when you're on a golf cart, it's windy. 
but the last few nights it's been raining and storming. Now, if you're watching the replay on this and you're not following along, feel free to fast forward. Did you guys know you can do that on YouTube? You can watch this in one, I think 1.25 times faster, one and a half, one and three quarters, I think, and two times faster. So I found sound like a chipmunk. But if you're just watching me do this, this is kind of boring, maybe. Or you can read the chat. So are you guys um, saying interesting things in the chat? Uh, B is asking, what is Patreon? Patreon is a way to support your YouTube channels or musicians or artists or things like that. Things that don't normally get paid much for. Uh, there's comic book people on there. There's musicians and lots of things. And for like donating to support, you get things in return. So in return, I give you access to my Cricut Design Space files. Um, depending on how much you give, you um, may get a shout out or some other things. Ooh, Debbie, where are you that there's smoke? I haven't watched the news much lately. I've been watching more YouTube and then a few of the new shows that are on TV. Oh, Kiona, you have more to go? Oh, I have, oh, here it is. <laughs> Kiona's not as fast as me. You'll catch up. You'll catch up. <laughs> You'll catch up, Kiona. Just keep on going. Okay, so I got all these pieces done. So now, okay, have I told you guys I've never done this? Um... I think, let's just go ahead and do this. This is a wire, it's not a wire, but you know, in reality it would be metal <laughs> going around the bucket. And so let's get all these. I think there's just four of that size. So on these, I'm gonna put glue on this. And I used Cricut Pearl paper. It's kind of shiny. See how it's kind of shiny? That looks like metal. Yes, Cindy, paper was being glued to the faux leather. So on top you see the faux leather, on the bottom is just cardstock. You could actually use any color cardstock because this completely covers it up but you'll see the brown on the inside. So now I'm gonna use the pearl paper. Oh, and I should probably put that little metal tip back on. And I'm gonna put this on here. Think. Oh my 
got glue all over. So I'm going to put this tip back on my glue. And we're going to do it again. Got four of these. I use the regular blade for the faux leather. You can use the deep cut blade too. Okay, I see what's going on here. Go back down there, go there. Okay, remember this is my first time. So on these, the silver there is, can you see? See that side is rounded and this side is square. So I'm putting the paper all the way to the end of the square piece and then this side is rounded. I'm not quite sure what we're doing with that yet. But this would be a fun project to do with kids because it is so simple. Like kids, kids, I can't speak. Could, kids <laughs> could help you glue these together. And you know what? If they're not perfect, that's okay too because they will be so proud of the basket or the pumpkin they made. This is a metal tip on the glue. It's just a little tip and you stick a pin in here. I get that from May May Made It's site too. So now we have all these done. And you don't need much glue for this. This one I can tell I put too much glue on or put a lot of glue. Okay, so now we have four of these I cut out in black. And these go behind this So you can see the cutouts through it. And they don't go all the way to the edge. You can see where the corners cut off. I'm going to maybe put this up to there. I think. Is that how those go? Maybe I'll wait. I just had a feeling I should wait. So I'm going to wait for that. Okay. So now we have two of these. Let's see, are these the same size? I don't know. They seem to be the same size. Okay, so this is the bottom. And I think what I'm gonna do is glue this down to the bottom. So each one of these will be glued to each side of this. And then once I have all these glued on, I'm gonna glue this right on top of it. So it's gonna sandwich in this little tab to be glued in there and that will keep it more secure. It'll keep it a better basket that you can actually carry things in. So has so everyone got that? We're gonna take this little tab and stick it right there. Hi, Tamitha. I didn't see you were in here. So you can put glue on there. And I'm just gonna stick it 
I'm only gluing the part maybe I'll do it this way which way will be I think this way will be easier because actually when I do this it stops right there where the leather is and that I think is where I want it so I'm gonna put glue on the little tab of paper and then put it underneath there and kind of place it in between there's just a little bit of room at each one so the smaller side of the stick is going down at the bottom How you doing, Kiona? Look, I'm making a sun. And this one, I... I went over the leather a little bit. It's not all the way down to the bottom. See, my inner child made this one. Do you guys, I don't know, it depends how little you are, I guess. When I was a kid, they had those Toys R Us commercials that says, I, I'm, I'm a Toys R Us kid and I'm never gonna go, oh my gosh, now I forgot how it goes. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Something about they're never going to grow up. That was me. Never wanted to grow up. And I don't think I have. I feel like I'm living in the house of like a 11-year-old girl. Because <laughs> I have all these art supplies that I've always wanted since I was a child. I'm a got him. Hi, Gary. I'm dropping things. Getting lots of messages on Facebook. Sorry, guys, I'm doing a video. Okay, now you could make a sun if you just cut these all out of yellow and made it like this. Yes, this is recording, so you can come back uh, and rewatch the beginning. And I'm doing this in real time. And so if you wanted to do it and follow along, you can. Like if you were doing the replay. That way, you feel like you're crafting with someone. And every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, I do live design space tutorials. Usually not crafting, but usually in design space software. And I take questions. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Okay, so, oh no, oh no. Okay, don't always do as I do, do as I say. I'm gonna re-glue these on because I got too impatient and didn't wait for it to dry. And I can't pick it up. I kind of feel like I'm just crafting with a whole bunch of people. How many people are watching right now? I can't see the video that shows me. Ah. 
Okay, let that dry. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and press it all down again. Polly, you are watching live right now. Okay, there's 183 of you watching right now. Okay, so now we're gonna glue this on here. And I'm gonna try to match these up. Actually, all I have to do is match these two corners up here and everything else should match. I'm gonna take this tip off because it'll dry too fast, I think. And I wanna make sure I have glue. Oops, maybe went too far. Here, let's make a smiley face. There we go. Just because it's more fun. This is kind of heavy now. This is going to make a great basket. Okay, so these all go up. I'm, I've never made this before. Has anyone else made this? <laughs> and these go around it. I'm not sure if I need to put these. Let me look at the picture. Let's go back to design space. Where's my mouse? Okay. There I am. Okay. Let's go here. Let's look at it. So I'm just gonna click on this. The apple barrel. Okay, so those are pretty far down on the bottom. Maybe I need to do the top ones first. Okay, so it looks like they're like just like a half an inch or maybe three quarters of an inch. Okay, let's go back. Oh. Here. There's four of these. How many of these are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's like a clock. So there's four of these. So th three of these would cover one. So it would go like that. So I would glue these to this. But, okay, here's my question for you guys. These have these little things here. Do I glue this to that first? Do I need to glue these together first and do all of them? And then put these all up in the circle? What do you guys think? Well, I'm going to put at least two of them together. We're just going to see what happens. I had you guys fooled. You guys thought I knew everything, huh? I think I'm going to do the top parts first. Put it in a bowl. 
Attach the pieces to make a ring. Um, yeah, I would do the, I'm going to do the top first. So we're going to set this away, out of the way. All right, let's glue these pieces on. Nope, the solid piece is going to go on the inside. I'm going to do those last. Oh, I'm going to do the corners first. One reason why I like to use the glue is because it moves. I can move it before it dries really fast. Oh, wrong piece. Thanks, Sherry, for 199 watching. Is that what that is? Okay, almost done. Okay. I think 199 people watching, is that what that is? So now, do I put these together and make a whole ring? Because these are going to go at the top. Do I put them? They're going to go at the very top. My assistant is in school today. She's in college. She's not here today. Okay, so now what do I do? Do I do the bottom first or the top first? We're having differences of opinions. Yeah, the bottom ring is smaller. Do I put it all in a ring like this? Do I put them all together? Or do I just put three? 
I think I have to put it all together. I won't know how tight. Um, let me look at this again. Okay, do the bottom first. Add two, then glue the tabs. Okay. Build from the ground up. All right. Sherry has made this. So Sherry, what are you saying to do? According to the handbook, the ring on the bottom of the basket. Hold on, I missed your comment. According to the handbook, bottom first in a ring, then on the basket. Okay, make the bottom ring first. So do you guys like the video like this where you tell me what to do? Or do you like it where I'm just showing you and it's edited? We're putting the ring together. Nope, I'm doing them all. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it. You know, if it doesn't work. Always fix it somehow, right? Okay, we have a square ring. Okay. There were only three. Okay, I can't put this on here, it doesn't fit. What's the last one I put together? I'm gonna rip it apart. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, I like the idea of using a bowl too. But I know because there's 12 of these, 12 pieces of wood, we'll say wood, and four of these. So three, so one of these should cover three Oh, but it doesn't do it that way. You have to have it up. I'm gonna glue it. I'm just it's just what my head is telling me to do. We'll see. Good luck with this, Kiono. Okay, now here's what you do. You glue one on, one piece first. If you can get that, maybe lots of glue. I don't know, maybe you need leather glue. Okay, the 3D pumpkins are going to be much easier.
Kiona has hers flipped over a very tall cup right now. I don't know if the Zyron would work better for this right now. It might. Okay. So let's see. No. Let's just keep going around. I'm just putting glue where I think the wood is going to be. Things got to get up. I think I'm putting this pretty low down to the bottom too. Glenna says, if you can't side it up from the bottom, because you can't, because this ring is smaller than this bottom, then scrunch it down to the bottom so I could put it in a ring and put all these together and then put it on. That's probably a better way. Kiona sent me a photo. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to... Kiona, I'm sharing your photo. Is that okay? Um, if I can... Oh, I know how I can. Let's get this over here. So, let me go over here. There, there's Kiona's, how she got it on there. So Kiona, did you put it um, over the top of it? Like you just pushed all those in and put it over there. Joey says the instructions say to do the top first. Somebody else said they said to do from the bottom up. Yeah, the glue is holding so far. Okay. Let's try it again. So, there's a few ways to try it. And my little... This is really far down in the bottom. I should have done it a little higher, I think. But this will still work. I think it's just for aesthetics. Yeah, so she bundled all the pieces. She, she used her common sense, I think. <laughs>
Okay, I missed some of your ideas. Oh, Char, yeah, balsa wood would be amazing with this. That would be so cool. Okay. Let's put all these up. See, I have a little problem. It doesn't fit very well. I thought these were, I'm gonna pull this apart a little bit. Things over here are closer together. So the problem is I'm having is I'm just doing these straight up. I need to put them in more. So they're closer together, I think. And if I did it higher, it would probably fit better. So we're going to all learn today to maybe not do it this way. And the back of my basket is not going to be how it should be. We're definitely going to have a front and back. So yeah, this does need to be like an inch. Oh, I need to cover that up. That mess I made. So put this as a ring first and then put it over the top. and then glue it together. It's almost gonna work. Because this needs to be smaller than the out than the bottom of the basket. I just realized that. I know I made a basket like this before. Almost done. If you're using balsa wood, I would probably get wood glue.
Okay, this doesn't exactly fit here. But I could put a little piece, cut a little piece and put over that. I'm really not going to worry about it. I could always put like a bow over it too. That's what you guys do. When you make a mistake, you just embellish it. Okay, this kind of looks like a fun hat too. Okay, now we gotta do the top. So I'm gonna make the top a ring. Vicky, you're getting your mojo back? Vicky says she lost her crafting mojo. So I'm putting glue on the paper. This is pearl paper. You could use metallic paper or you can use anything you want. Okay, now I'm really excited that you guys have inspired me to make this out of wood, like with my maker. Like, I want to get some wood when the knife blade comes and make this basket out of actual wood. How fun is that going to be? Okay, we're going to see how this goes. Put that there. Put that there. Um, That's right, apple baskets are not perfect. <laughs> okay, now here's the top. Now we gotta stretch these out to come to reach like three See how there are four sides? We gotta put three to four sides. Kiano sent another photo. Do we wanna see her photo? Oh, it'd be over here. Whoops, just downloaded this one. Okay. So Keanu's got her bottom part done, and hers isn't perfect either. But hey, you know, this is just practice. Yay, Linda just got her Cricut Maker delivered. Okay. So I'm just going to glue these together by putting three, like one. Like how this is going to have to fit is like, you put one on each side and then this one in the middle. We don't know when the knife blade is coming yet. So I'm just gonna try to glue this on. I'm gonna do, so here's how I did it. So this is like one piece, one, square piece, and I know because I, I learned math in third grade that 12 goes into four three times. No, is that right? Yeah, something, I don't know. Three times four is 12 is all I know. And I got four sides, 12 slats, 
and I want to try to make them even. So for now, I'm just bending them out like this. Yeah, I think they've been saying December, but not a specific date. And people are upset that it's not out yet, but don't you want it to be perfect? Okay, this one's not perfect. I do not know about this. This is hard. This is much harder than I thought it would be. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. I thought this was going to be really easy. Okay, it's not really going to be as hard as what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with the glue. I'm going to put three circles of glue. For the next three slats, I think it'll start looking right when we get them all glued on. Yes, please, if you guys make these, uh, so, uh, share them on Facebook, even if they look bad, because mine's not going to be perfect. But I, it start, I can see it. I can start to see it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a long video, guys. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to put the three circles. Okay. I'm putting the two on the outside and then doing the middle one. And you kind of want them even. Kind of got to hold them out. I'm not doing such a great job though, really. I think it might be okay. Yeah, I could use little clothespins to hold these in. You know, because I have them right here. Some open somewhere. use my clothes pins I'm gonna rip this one off and do that one over because it was it was sticking up and I'll use a clothes pin to hold it Okay, let's try this again.
not sure what size this is. Okay, this is so not perfect. It's not that hard once you know how to do it. Now we have these pieces that will glue inside here. And I wonder if we could have glued these together on the one side and then kind of put them over them. There's different ways to do it. I could put these all in a ring, but I'm not. I'm just going to overlap them. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to try to match up the top. So to make it more round, I'm not following them on the each line. So this one I put just over here around the corner to help round this out more. And try to match it up so it's at the top. Not really like I did it. I might have to do another video on this. Now I lost my other two pieces. Did you guys see where they went? Oh, there's one. Let me take these out. Okay, and then there's another one to put in here and I don't know where it's at. So this is my apple basket. It's not perfect. Maybe I should have looked at the directions first. But it's kind of cute. I could make little apples to put in there. Okay, so let's do a pumpkin, at least one pumpkin. But I wanna show you the difference in the sizes of the pumpkins because there are two options for pumpkins and I'm gonna show you the two options. So the smallest pumpkin, the regular called 3D pumpkin, comes like this. You get two of these. And 
I think you lay them across like that. I don't know. Do you want to read the directions for this one? Um, I know you glue these tabs and then glue them up. So first we're going to do this. These are all scored here. Oh, but first we have to put these pieces on. So I have to find this, the small pieces. These fat ones are for the bigger one. And there's a lid to this. So this is a box. Kiona, did you get yours done yet? I feel like I'm talking to her, yelling across the room. Okay, I'm gonna glue these on real fast. These don't have to be perfect. This is the inside, and it's really just so you can see. Actually, you don't have to have these, but I think it makes it more sturdy with them. Oh, curve the paper before attaching it to the ring. Yep, good idea. Yep, I gotta fold in the tabs. Those are also scored. So then this is what it looks like from, that'll be like the outside. So all these fold in. And if it doesn't score very well, it's okay, because you just fold them in. Just even with the edge. And you can do this pretty quickly. And I'm going to do this one again. Yeah, this is from the cartridge. It's fall in the details. And you can only use it if you have Cricut access. So those of you just joining, because <laughs> it's after five now, almost 5.30, and people were at work when I started, but they may be off work now.
So I'm only gonna make one of these pumpkins, but we'll go through the other pumpkin to show how to get it started. Because I think it's exactly the same, except for it's not all on one piece. And the reason that is, is so you can make it a bigger pumpkin. Like you could make the big pumpkin like huge. You, like you could use one paper, 112 by 24 inch paper for like each side here. So you could make it huge. And that's why they made two different pumpkins that look exactly the same. Okay. So what do you guys think? I think that goes like that, right? I think I can glue that down. I'm gonna, I'm not even reading the comments. No one can stop me now. Thanks, Jamie, for sharing my link. Yeah, I really suggest getting the 12 by 24 paper. A lot of people say, but what would I use it for? Well, even just cutting this out that I could cut on 12 by 12 paper, you actually use a lot less paper if you use the 12 by 24 paper and it's cheaper like it's cheaper per square inch okay something's wrong here i can't get this one all up i don't know okay <laughs> so what we're gonna do is glue these tabs right in there see that so i'm gonna go around and glue these tabs there's one starting at the bottom. So there's like five tabs. I'm not gonna put glue on the top one yet. I'm not sure how that one's gonna go. And then we're just gonna line this up with the edge. Yeah, I guess the top one gets glued. Oh, I'm getting glue everywhere. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. Glue those on. You could use dry adhesive if you want. So then you just go around the circle See, I don't have these perfect at the top. Do I need to look at this one? Oh, uh, let me look in design space real fast to see the picture. doesn't really show what I wanted to look at. Okay, this one lines up good. So I kind of lined this up at the top first, and then I'm going and gluing these on. That seems to help with the second one. That made it easier. So you wanna make sure it's lined up. Mm, that wasn't lined up right. So maybe not, you have to do it from this side. three of them together. Okay. That one came apart. 
You have to be patient when you're doing this stuff. Don't stress about stuff. If you stress about this stuff, you're not having any fun. Crafting is about fun. And if you're doing it because you're selling stuff, like if I was, I would not sell that basket. Not, I would not give that to anybody. Um, I would have to do it over. But it's really just for my house. And if I wanted it perfect, I would do it again. But that's not so fun to me. I don't like doing things more than once. Unless I really, really wanted it to look perfect, then I would do it again. I think the fun part is the making, and if you're doing it to sell things and stuff, then it, it's just, it's not as much fun, really. At least not for me. trying to get it right but if it doesn't turn out perfect it's fine put more glue I need to wipe off my glue you have to kind of shape it like a pumpkin to be roundish and this one is giving me a hard time. I don't know why. I gotta bend it in more. And if you want things perfect, you can get them perfect, but it might take practice. Like I said, this is my first time making these. So I'm going to bend this down a little to get those to stick better and be on the edge. I'm holding them there. Great stuff now. The larger tab down here needs to go in. Oh, somebody says I they don't think I aligned the base perfectly. That could be. But hey, it's starting to look like a pumpkin, isn't it? Cindy says it's better if you glue one tab first and then let the others let it dry and do the others. Yeah, she's probably right, but I'm trying to do this as quick as possible for you guys. Nobody wants to sit and wait for my glue to dry, do you?
And I'm sticking my tongue out. Good thing you guys can't see me. Do you guys do that? Stick your tongue out while you're trying to do stuff? Debbie, to move them from one mat to another, you click on the image on the mat and then it will show circles on the top left and top right. The circle on the top left has three dots. You click on that circle and it will say move to another mat. When you click on move to another mat, then it'll let you choose which mat to move it to. Yeah, if I used glue dots or something, I wouldn't have to wait for it to dry. And let me just say, it's a good thing I'm doing this live, because if I was doing this in an edited video, I don't know that I would do it, because it would take a lot of editing. I think the bigger pumpkin would actually be easier to put together. Cat says, curve each piece before gluing, gluing together. Okay, we're almost done. I gotta get glue on these pieces. No, I didn't see the Dreaming Tree Owl Lantern yet. Or did I? I think I saw something about it. I haven't been looking lately. And I just want to say, once you start doing, working more with paper and 3D projects, they get easier and easier. I haven't done any 3D. I used to do lots of 3D stuff. I love making the 3D stuff. And I haven't done any in over a year, I think.
Okay. I think I got the bottom half done. Woohoo! Do you really want me to make the rest? <laughs> this goes on the top. Um. This is the stem. This has lots of score lines, sorry. Just folding these on the score lines. So there's like a line here and here. I don't know. I think these parts get folded out. Oh, I didn't fold this one in. So these lines here that have two score lines in them, we're gonna put glue on the little tiny edge and then glue this down to that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this. We're gonna, I'm gonna clean this glue off. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Now, where was I? Did I put glue down yet? No. So we're going to glue that. Well, you guys, I have to say that my first trial belongs to all of you who have watched me through this video. So I'm gonna put glue here. So you know what to do and not do. Poor Keona's trying to follow along and I'm messing up. There's not a way to in increase the pressure on the score tool. I think they fixed it though. I thought they fixed it better. So it had a little more pressure. Look, we got a little stem. You guys want to hear something that made me laugh? My watch band. I got this from Amazon. I think it was $11. And on Amazon and in the box that it came in, it said genuine leather. And I'm like, this is not genuine leather. This is like plastic material that I have a mat on my lanai that I think is made out of the same plastic. It's like indoor, outdoor plastic stuff. This is genuine leather. It just made me laugh. I didn't care if it was leather or not. I didn't buy it for that reason. So then this, I don't know, these slide in here like that. It doesn't really fit in there. Is this the, maybe this is the wrong one. So this is the one for the big pumpkin and these are the sides for the bib, 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 bib. So I made the big pumpkin pretty big, so you can see the size difference. I'm not doing the big one right now, but we'll... Um, 
I'll go over how to start it because it's not like this. Hmm. Okay, those will go like that, like we did the bottom. So the lid is the same. See, this has two little slits in it. Does that go? This will go on here. So after I get the top of the pumpkin done, I think this goes here. But the slits are kind of far away. Like, I thought they would be closer. Okay. So you would glue these tabs down and then put this on top of it. But I don't know about the greenery yet. So we have leaves here. So the small one and this. So maybe we wanna put this, I'm not looking at you. I think you could just stick this in anywhere you want it. And this too. Okay, there. Look what I did. See, I curled this in around that, like that. And then stick this in. Just stick it under the hat. <laughs> I'm calling it a hat. This is the stem. It looks like a hat to me. So then we could do the top. And then this would go on top of this. And we do the same thing with this to make the lid. Do I have to make it? Can you guys get that? Wouldn't that be cute? I'm thinking it's better to make it off camera. <laughs> Lynn says, Melody, if you need a break, we can come up. You can come back later. How long is it? What time is it? It's, it's been almost two hours. Okay. But, because I've shown you how, I said I'd do the 3D pumpkin. Let me show you how to start the bottom one. Because the little pumpkin comes like this. So make the little one. You can make it a little bigger. You can make these like 12 by 12, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. But if you want them really big, then they come separately like this. So what you would do is these have the little tab here, kind of like the tab on the basket. And then you would just glue the tab. You could glue it on the top of each one. And then it has this, I think. Yeah, because these are both solid. There's no slits in here. So then this would be the bottom of the pumpkin. After you get all of these in here, just like I did on the basket, then glue those in and put those in there and then you would fold all these in after you put this on there but you could have a basket that you see through you know you could see it has windows in it without putting this on if you didn't want to so glue all that on first and then you do the same thing does that make sense I want to make sure you guys understand and you do the stem and everything. I really like this. I think this is gonna be really cute. I just feel like a two and a half hour video is gonna be way too long. Okay, do you guys have questions for anything? You guys are talking about um, uh, what? Uh, printing on colored paper. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I want to do some crepe paper flowers, too. Sheila Rogers is making them right now.
Kiona, I see your question about the slits in the top of the pumpkin. Did I answer your question? I think they're for this. Is there another piece for the big pumpkin? I don't see a piece for the top of the pumpkin. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you guys! This goes for the big pumpkin, this thing. Thank you, Kiona, for bringing that up because I was like, I was looking for one for the bigger one. I couldn't find it. So this slit, one like this, goes for the big pumpkin because the smaller pumpkin already has the slits in it. And notice one slit is bigger than the other and it has one hole bigger. I thought that was too big for that. Okay, so. Thank you, Kiona, for bringing that up. I can't get them in there. There we go. Okay, so that was for the bigger pumpkin. I was thinking that was. And then the slits for the smaller pumpkin are right in here in the lid, in this top part. That's why I could only find one. So it depends on which pumpkin you're making. And I love this because you can lift this off and it will stay. Stick that in there underneath there. Stick this in somewhere. And then this will go down just like these did. And then this will be, you make this just a little bit bigger than this. So it'll go over it. Oh my gosh, I just had an idea. Instead of putting yellow, oh, I might do that. I might not even put anything in here. You could put vellum in here or put nothing and put a little candle inside. And then you would see these little, the little cutout holes. I'm going to do that with the lid. I'm not, I'm going to make the lid, but just not right now. Um, I'm going to do that and I'm not going to put the yellow pieces on and then I'm going to put one of those fake candles, not a real candle in here. It's paper, but the fake candles from batteries. Yes, Kiona, thank you. The one I have is for the big one. Oh, Sheila says FedEx is there. What'd you get, Sheila? Yeah, I could make a glittery pumpkin. with this this would be so pretty but i didn't want to do it with this first because you know i needed practice but i might do that and make it a lantern nikki ray you are two hours late My back is starting to hurt now. You guys wear me out. <laughs> Trying to figure things out live. Yeah, battery operated tea light would be awesome. 
or you could use pattern paper. Yeah, this was just a test. <laughs> All right, guys, do you have any questions or ideas? If you just joined in and you want to see me attempt to make this, watch it from the beginning. I'm not so sure how good it is. I messed up a little. This was my first time but I think next time I can make it much easier. This is the basket that's last left. Like if you're buying baskets, this is the, this is the one that gets put on clearance. Rachel, are you in the UK? <laughs> Vivian, she's late too. Just got her speakers to work. Vivian, you want to start from the beginning? Oh yeah, a straw in the basket. That would cover up all the mishaps of it. Karen says her top turned out too small for the pumpkin at the bottom. So you gotta be careful and try to make the bottom part maybe closer together and the top part a little looser. I may... Well, I don't know how far my phone is charged. I may do a golf cart ride, get out of the house a little. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I love you. Thanks for everyone who stuck around for two hours. Um, and if you want to learn to make these, I think I showed you how to make the whole thing. I didn't get it all done. Maybe another day or maybe an edited video now that I know how to do it. Maybe I'll do the big one in the edited video. <laughs> Don't spray with glue with your tongue out. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Sheila, you are just not shy. I'm shy. You're not shy in person, and I'm shy in person. And you're just shy in video. Thank you so much, guys.